Ah, this again. You're probably running, but... That is annoying. It, like, shuts off the power when I get back in here with this next play session. But anyway, power's running, batteries are still charging. And we have completed phase two of the space elevator, or what's its face? Project Assembly, that's what it's called. Anyway. We got 24 coupons. Let's just print it out now. Now, I do want to check something real quick before we start this. Uh, I was missing something, wasn't I? Uh, got all the walls. We got the conveyor walls. We got pretty much all the ramps we need. Okay, power stuff. Hyper tube floor stuff. Clean pipeline. I don't need that. Probably take this. Conveyor lift hole. Take that. Hyper tube wall attachments. I'll need that as well. Okay, we already got the MK1 wall outlet. Don't really need the MK2 or MK3. It's like in the previous place throughs, like I only used MK2s like three or four times. It's very specific stuff. Anyway, probably should do something with lights. Personal storage skin hazard box. No, I don't need these. Indoor lighting, I will take those as well. Street light, maybe? Oh, I could just press this cart. Add it to the cart. Blood lights, I'll take that as well. Sure, let's take a switch as well. I think that's pretty much it for the time being. Walls, customizer. Now, someone mentioned in the comments that I should use the new foundation materials here. So we got asphalt, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I can afford it. Let's get all of these. 18, 23. Well, maybe not this. I have to remove that last one. Or the grip metal, I should say. Let's get the asphalt instead. There we go. Let's buy all of this. And then... We'll eventually get this other stuff. Crystal oscillators, I can get these right now. Get a whole stack of them, but ooh, keep that for later. Anyway, let's deposit this and get back into this game. So we're working on oil. So before we do that, we do need to uh, make our motor production because I haven't been getting that going. I do have this second floor sort of kind of under the construction. Uh, but we should make it now. You need a ramp going upwards though. Let's put it here. I want to do this. Then we'll put... Yeah, there we go. Then another ramp over here. Alright, build mode. Need to zoop this again. And just to make this all nice and fancy, why don't we do this, 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 you know, for safety. I have to fill in more of these things as well.
then we're going to be continuing to build outward here. Now, I do need to bring power up here. And on top of that, I also need to work on the hyper tubes. Like, I haven't been using hyper tubes just yet. But I really should get on that to increase my mobility around the map. Because I'm going to be moving all around the map. Like, all the time. Doing various things. Need more concrete. I also need to rework this area. Just take all of the concrete. All of it. It's going to continue extending in this direction. Also need to bring the resources up to the second floor. Like I have that main bus on the first floor that I started. I only pulled like two or three things, I think. Oh, now we need more plates. Also need to improve that area because we are going to be using this stuff like later on for factory stuff. Maybe not necessarily the plates. Also want to get some lighting in here just so that it's all nice and bright and I can see stuff. Now the motors we do need in order to do anything related to oil, so that's why I need to do this first. It was the motors were made available uh, at some milestone, but I forget which. Okay, so let's drop down here. I don't think we're going to be using this area for anything really, so let's start bringing up the resources through here. Now I did unlock stuff. Uh, logistics. Conveyor lift floor hold. This is exactly what I need. I want to see this. Oh, yeah, that's where it goes. So, let's have, like... Ten of these holes. I guess two each. And that does look like good spacing. And the walls are four high, so do the same thing over here. Did we ever get windows for the foundations? Maybe I should get some like real quick. Ah, uh, maybe later. I just want to get this done so that I can start working on oil. Three, four. And then we'll just build it across like this. Isn't this nice? Like, no supports or anything like that. Now I'm already building third floor. Was largely because I only need the ceiling for now, but I use those ceiling conveyors. Oh, 
Okay, um... Now, how do I do this? You know what? Let's try to make this easy for now. Make the ramp downward over here. Or, wait, should we be making the ceiling mounts first? Make sure this is lined up. Like, should this be closer? Let me try this out. No, I can't even hear the sound, so get rid of this. And then we'll just do like Can I zoop this or what? No, can't zoop it. Alright. Start bringing this up. That's not gonna work. My god, this is actually a bad position for a ramp. But we can just do that. No, it's locking into the second and fourth positions. Why the hell is it doing that? Just do this first. Oh, geez. Maybe we should do it the other way. Yeah, there we go. So now we just have to line this up for the other ones to bring the rest up. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, and one. Probably should do the other side first because this side is just going to be blocking. I didn't think I'd be doing this first. I thought I was going to be working on motors, but here we are. This needs to get done. And the thing is, it probably would have been faster if I just used the windows and just had the conveyors going upwards. But nah, let's make things more complicated. I do have to get rid of this.
Okay, yeah, it does work. Needed to test that. Test this as well. Yeah, there we go. Alright, second. Wait, not this one. And I just extend it like this. That way I can see this. It's two. It's three. Four. And five. Hey, I just noticed that line extending from the conveyor lift that's it actually helps me to align this so that is nice like was that always there or is this something new because i don't remember this at all it's four and there is five. Like, I don't even need to see the conveyor belt because I see that line. It's nice. Okay, so next. I need to put a wall up here. But first, just so I can get the power here. But first, what I'm going to do is connect these. Because they need to be connected. Oh, come on. What the hell was that? Ugh. Okay, so. Products are now being lifted upwards. Uh, I need some walls here. And this will give us power on the second floor. Also need to connect these as well. The hell? Okay, hey, there we go. Now this side. Yeah, somehow I get the feeling that if I put the conveyors like outside and just use the conveyor wall things, it'd probably be much easier, but I've never used these conveyor floors before, so I wanted to try them out. But there we go. Got a products up here. Now we need to Bring this out here. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if they connect. And it does. And it even makes the 
conveyor pull as well. So this is easy to set up. And we should only need to extend it this far for the time being. Because right now I need to make some more uh, motors and I'm out of resources. Need some steel with me. Steel beams. Go ahead and get that. And I'm almost at the point where I can get the MK4s. So I'm only going to upgrade what's uh, necessary once I get the MK4s. Uh, and then when I get the MK5s going, then that's when I'll upgrade everything regardless. Could be the MK1s, could be the MK3s, 4s. Regardless of whether it even needs it or not, I'm just going to be flooding the entire thing with MK5s. So I think that's it. And this second floor is going to extend farther out because it can. And I probably should have brought more iron plates with me. And of course, while I'm doing all of this, building up a nice stockpile of every resource or every refined material, I should say. Uh, we need, yeah, iron plates. Do we even need all of these? How about I just throw away my nuts? Get another stack of this. Yeah, let's go back. So we're going to put the... I need to bring something over here. Since it's not exactly extending all the way over there. Like, I do need to do something about that. Yeah, I think this is good for now. But what I'm going to do, uh, we have the stators and we have the rotors, so let's check out our blueprints. As we'll put down the assemblers. I do need space over here, so we'll put it like this. Actually, maybe we should extend this just a little bit more. We still need to clear out the space underneath, but I'm probably not, not going to use it because it's not exactly level with the first floor of the factory. Okay, so this is the area that I'll be using for the factory, so we're going to put the motor production here. I do need another blueprint for other things, but this will do for the time being. Now, someone said in the comments that this is supposed to lock with the other blueprint here, but it really isn't. The only thing I get from the build mode for blueprints like if I set the blueprint all I get is this white outline and that's really all I need because I also have blueprints that overlap with each other so this need this works fine for me for my purposes even though it's a little bit uh 
annoying at times for the blueprints that don't require it to overlap. But anyway, I'm doing nine. Just need to switch this to motor production. Wait, copy and paste. So it's control C and control V, same as when you're doing some work in Windows. Yeah, and there's motors. Okay, we need to connect these blueprints now. But this is nice, a lot of the work is done. It's just like that. Then what I'm going to do is uh, bring some walls over here. I'm just going to put one of these double wall outlets over here and connect it like this. Easy. Is this going to reach? No, the wire is too long. All right. Okay, so this is all powered up. Now we just need to bring the ingredients. So that was rotors and stators, I believe. Yeah, rotors and stators. Now I just need to find them here. Okay, those are the rotors. 